In the southern region, the scope of the trials, the NVT trials, uh, basically covers uh, South Australia, uh, Victoria and Tasmania. And the trials uh, range in terms of their diversity from Penong and the far west coast of South Australia, the other side of Sejuna, right through to Rutherglen in Victoria, and down as far south as Evandale in Tasmania. So there's quite a breadth of trials, and in that area we're looking at something like 235 NVT trials that cover uh, nine uh, winter crop species. So wheat, barley, oats are the cereals, canola, uh, and in the pulses, chickpeas, lentils, peas, beans, and lupins. So cereal trials represent about 40%. Another 30% are canola trials, and the remaining are pulse trials, representing all those crops that I mentioned. With that range of, of trials from east to west, north to south within the southern region, obviously that does encompass quite a range of soil types and rainfalls, right from the very low rainfall conditions that you get on the far west coast of South Australia to the very high rainfall and even irrigated conditions that we have trials on in Tasmania. So rainfall and soil type wise, it does cover a very big range. This year's trials I think will be of particular interest for wheat, mainly in that three of the largest wheat breeding programs in Australia have released a, a range of new varieties uh, recently. And uh, those varieties, some of them haven't been tested for that many years previously in, NV in NVT trials. So there'll be a lot of interest in seeing how those var varieties perform this year in the NVT trials so the growers can gauge whether it's worth investing in those varieties or whether they're suitable for their farming systems. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.